eh, de Colombia están ahí escuchando. Vamos a ver, tenemos al 1 con Federico, 2 Jorge, 4 Daniel, 6 Javier, 7 Manuel, 11 Samuel Gaviria, el capitán, 14 Alejandro Viedo, 24 Camilo Díaz, 26 Sebastián Londonio, 32 Sebastián Ochoa, 37 Diego Gómez, 88 Pablo, 90 Renberg y 99 Juan José La Verde, el goleador del Mundial Sub-21 que terminó el domingo en Overhausen. Let's see and go with Norway. You want to read them? I will read them. Let's see. A Karen, there we go. Oh, wait. Okay. Nordic people, forgive me. Number two. Oybin. <laughs> Oybin. Uh, your, your microphone Oybind. is off. Oybin. Number three, Fritz. Number six, uh, Stian. Stian. Number Steen, sorry, seven Jacob, eight Aril, ten Andre, eleven Marius, twelve Trond, Hell Helge, thirteen Jacob, fourteen Ahakon, fifteen Eric, uh, twenty-two Nicolas, twenty-nine Christian Schaeffer, ninety-eight Manacom, ninety-nine Joachim, and the referees for this game we have. The deck referee is Jose from the US and underwater Jane from Finland, Birgit from Germany. So what do you think, Bolfi? What's your... Uh, well, this is going to be an interesting game. <coughs> um, I'm, I, c I cannot really um, estimate um, the work of Akaren. Um, they are one of the experienced teams here, one of the top teams uh, for sure. What? I was not paying attention. They, they are one <laughs> of the experienced teams Ooh. at Akarin, okay. mm -hmm. Um But I haven't seen them playing for quite a while. Um, but I know um, the, the Autocars are looking for the first place here in this Champions Cup. So does Akarin for sure. But uh, the Autocars have been coming steadily to the Champions Cup. And um, maybe the, the, um, the advantage for Makarin is again what we talked a lot about. The experience with uh, other European teams that uh, that is lacking for the Orcas. So probably a current is a little bit more cunning, a current is a little bit more experienced in the whole range of uh, playing uh, underwater rugby against different teams. But let's see. Um, Colombia with the Orcas did well so far. Not uh, not like uh, over, you know. Uh, uh. Well, they did the uh, um, third places, and I believe even a year did they do the second place? Yes, right. They have been doing second and third place. Orcas, yes, mm -hmm. for quite a while. Yeah. So it's top three. Also, one of the favorites is Orcas, is Akaren, is Flipper, and Riksu. Here we go. Match start. A ver, Colombia. Nice start from Akaren uh, Akaren in ball possession. And uh, yeah, Colombia, the Orcas are in uh, blue and the Karen is in white. And uh, Karen is on the left and uh, the Orcas on the right side. So let's see some high quality underwater rugby here. Free throw against uh, the Orcas. And uh, already there's an Akaran player in the lying in the defense of the uh, under the Orca basket. Here we go, Orca in ball possession. Wow, how they go fast for the Akaran basket. And how they turn on the on the space. We already saw the U21 from Colombia. How agile they are, how their movements are on the spot. It's incredible how they move with the ball control. And they come in from above the basket, are all around the basket. Uh, but Akaran is, uh, has a lot of experience defending. Here we go, first goal! First wow, goal from that the was, wow! That was nine, well, one minute Nino and v. nine seconds. <laughs> and Camilo Diaz look into the camera and dedicate that goal. Who was it? I Can didn't see it. it. Chicos, ¿quién fue? ¿Lo pudieron ver? Fede was in, the, in it too, but I uh, didn't see who was it. Es que parecen como, como si fuera, no sé, un torpedo. And here we go Eso again. No Akaran okay, uh, tries to uh, give the favor back to the Colombians. Um, that was fast and that was very decisive controlled uh, goal and this is a good start for Colombia in this game uh, to, s to, s to, to score within the first uh, one minute uh, ten seconds and here uh, Akaren uh, has the ball 
Ah, call from the referee's free throw against uh, Colombia. Jacobo, tu hermanito hizo el gol. ¿De en serio? Lo hizo Juan, lo hizo la verde. De verdad. <laughs> La Verde did it. This is a uh, guy, I mean, U21 uh, just did a score against a garden. Not so Respect. bad. Very well provided, uh, very well uh, uh, started from his uh, team Amazing. colleagues. And here comes a current okay. going in. But the current lost the ball, baseball style uh, breakout uh, out of the. Uh, for checking and the uh, defense perimeter from the Orcas into the Akaren uh, area, but stopped by the for checking from Akaren. And now we are in the corner of the close side of the Akaren basket. And the Orcas are swimming around the basket. These turns on the spot are so fast, and they uh, they play the ball because they have a good orientation where their uh, co-players are. And here we are on the close side of the basket. Defense of a car in this lying in place, but the <laughs> Colombians are doing a good job to <laughs> swim then dizzy. What are you laughing about, Lorena? <laughs> All the Colombian commentaries. I'm sorry. And oh here we go back sorry, again. The, 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 <laughs> the Colombians <laughs> push hard and really fast. You know the game. Wow, wow very no, nice between like the between the legs Daniel, of the Daniel, player, Daniel. and they they are really they are really swimming the the car in players dizzy, dizzy and, uh, yeah. Yeah, and the, the, the defense has a hard time keeping up with it well intercepted very nice intercepted pass from a and uh, but still the Colombians stop this attack in the middle of a pool and we are back uh, right in front of the Akaren basket and somewhere uh, I think it was someone having the ball and come down they come from the close side again into the basket uh, defense area of a playing the ball right on the spot and already, uh, you know, a little bit more than one minute they're leading uh, this game against the Karen. And, and the thing is, they came out of the blue because a lot of bubbles here is so uh, hectic. And then suddenly you see uh, the Colombians just uh, stole the oh. basket and they're trying. Oh, wow. Well, wow, that was close. That, uh, it looked it was in the basket, but uh, uh, a Karen recovered and kept cool and got the ball out of the basket again. Wow, nice interception here. Uh, the pass was uh, for a Colombian player, but was intercepted by a Nakaran player. But Nakaran really is uh, fighting hard here to keep up with the pace of the Colombians, who who do push their game system on the on the uh, Norwich, Norwegian uh, team. Por favor, qué velocidad. O sea, nos están mareando los noruegos. Están jugando a la calecita. O sea, no no saben ni dónde están, de dónde vienen, de dónde salen. O sea. Increíble el juego de los chicos de Orcas. Y tenemos a uno de los chicos debajo del portero. Está tratando de frenarlo. Otro de los chicos de acá. Acaba de pasar el balón del lado abierto. Y acaba de atacar desde abajo. Pero pierde el balón el chico de Colombia. Y tenemos a Karen en the counterattack. The goal is just made it. The defender mm, very, very on time. It's very. Uh, the ball went on the side and was recovered by the Colombian team. And now they pass it and are. Recovered. That was a fast counter attack from a guard, and a guard is also a dangerous team uh, in counter attack. So they need to be very careful. Uh, Colombia is very, very fast, but they don't cannot underestimate. And this, they're just winning one zero. So everything is possible in this game. And uh, Mior, you are making me laugh as way as well. I mean, the people commenting are funny. Thank it's you. It's a very fast game, and uh, it's a very physical game. If the teams. Uh, try to stop each other they they really go for it um, uh, it's a one-on-one -on -one fight then but the four checking of both teams is very good they uh, the Colombians have a little bit the advantage of speed and uh, they are a step ahead of a Karen who has to have to follow the lead of the Colombians and it's not possible for a Karen very they, they, they like uh, playing their own game they have to react what uh, the Colombians are doing and they're leading 1-0 now they go in very fast turn around and then pass back it's like, a it's like a back and forth it's yeah. amazing I mean it's, uh it's like seals their movements one player now going up from above and uh, call from the referee Something and the uh, referee on the close side is going up to the surface and she's talking to the chief referee on the surface I guess there was kicking involved because one of the Colombians tried to go to the on the goal player but didn't succeed. Why did the referee go? Free throw against Akaren. 
¿Qué se tragó Rembert, chicos? A ver, tradúzcanme del colombiano al argentino, por favor. <risa> a ver, tenemos un tiro libre para Colombia. Vamos a ver qué pasa. Ahí viene uno de los chicos, trata de entrar en medio, pasa el balón, agarra y pudo atacar desde arriba, pero los chicos de Noruega no dan respiro. La verdad es que vienen reaccionando, vienen medio así justos y vienen medio demorados y medio como mareados pero logran salvar la situación, o sea, pero Colombia está haciendo muy bien, lo sorprendió, le metió un gol bien al principio y todavía están tratando de recuperar a los noruegos. A ver, viene por el lado cerrado, Wolf, what do you think? Very well defended, uh, the goal is very well defended by Carlin, but they, they are um, under stress, they are really under pressure by the Colombians who don't hesitate, they go in wave after wave in a speed You see the movements of the car and they just react, 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 react. And the Colombians are uh, swimming so fast around them and uh, passing. It's, it's amazing. Uh, a car can still hold on. And here another ah, attack. Mierda. Ball is free ah, on perdón. the Colombian side. A and ver. still in uh, ball possession of the Colombians. The it's a very Samuel. fast play. It's a very fast game. And... Uh, a current does an amazing job to to it's amazing how they're reacting but they're, they are they're, they're look there is still a spacho i believe the colombia still in possession and they look so calm while they are doing this it's yeah, really yeah, fast it's, but it's they it's are amazing. like was in position past the ball wait i mean they're speedy and very fast and, and very aggressive but calm if and, you know and what it I mean. doesn't look like they're changing much uh, they stay on the side <laughs> and <laughs> uh, now the the basket is stolen away and this is uh, pushing without ball by a current player one colombian stole the basket away and that is a good chance and <laughs> yep go a goal from colombia oh sorry i yell You David, did. te mando un saludo. <laughs> Very well played. Uh, the Colombians stole the basket away from uh, the uh, Carmen players, and uh, the Carmen goalkeeper wow. was pushing quite heavily on the goalkeeper without uh, uh, without ball. But nevertheless, uh, it, I think it was advantage for um, Colo for Colombia, and uh, they scored. Back in the game. But it's a great job what Akaren is doing because oh Colombia yes, is it's amazing. It's really wow. The I defenses mean of Akaren is just like uh, amazing how they, they keep up with the speed. But it's amazing the pace and, and yeah. how Colombian is just dominating, controlling the ball, setting the speed of the game, everything. I mean, really. But it takes a great team uh, as Akaren to kind of be losing 2-0 and not like 10-0 because yeah, by yeah, this yeah. pace of attack I mean it's amazing the After reaction. After this time we, we have uh, 50 seconds left in the first half and there's uh, this 10 minutes Akaren was on a constant attack almost on a constant attack and this fast attacks by the Colombians and uh, they didn't bulge they didn't uh, have a dent in there they are still up to it and the goals uh, the Colombians succeeded Uh, the second one was by stealing away the baskets. Now the teams are on the surface. A ver, Osvaldo, explícame qué significa que tienen muy retrasada la señal de que no estás hablando. Ay, gracias por la traducción de que tragarse, de que no hizo el gol. Es que a veces usan ustedes palabras al revés. Nosotros diríamos se lo comió, creo. No sé. Bueno, tengo que aprender más. Amazing colombiano. game from uh, both teams. El deck referee, sí, lo tenemos. A ver, aguanten un minutito. Es José de los Estados Unidos, el deck referee. Voy a repetir. Jane de Finlandia y Virgen de Alemania están bajo agua. Y eso es un partidazo. Partidazo. Casi. Partidazo. Partidazo. I'm learning Spanish here. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's really bad. I think you're <laughs> over the top, Lorena. I think no, you're it's, it's behind. No, it's in Colombia. That's just so funny. So give me a little uh, bit your insight, yeah. Lorena, for <laughs> the game. Um, I think uh, Colombia dominates the game, and uh, they they force <laughs> they force a current to follow to react to the game that they are forcing on them. But nevertheless, we said a current does an amazing job. Uh, yes, to, yes. To I mean, it's keep amazing. The up. You s if you see how fast they. They pass and they swim around the current defense, and uh, they don't make mistakes. A current hasn't made many mistakes or none, because otherwise it would be a 10-0. Because the Colombians just just checking, yes, they are like yes. a wolf pack yeah. around uh, the herd and yeah. wait for uh, for a mistake to to, to go in. The speed we've seen with the juniors, this is double. 
This is like a, instead of, you know, sometimes you see teams and it looks like they're doing it like in a slow motion. Well, this game, it looks like they're going speed forward. <laughs> yes. It's really, really amazing. Uh, uh, incredible. Let me see. It's a uh, uh, big fun uh, to, to watch. Okay, Vegard, we try not to talk over each other. I think it happens a few times that we pay more attention to that. Hi from Ireland, Celtic Warriors. Claudia, tenemos que hacer 50 y 50, así, eh, sí, o sea, es, eh, entiendo, pero mira, eh, no, o sea, no hay mucho que decir porque eh, el juego que está teniendo Colombia es, 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 es un ataque tan rápido, tan constante, moviéndose en semicírculo por delante y forzando el error de Noruega, eh, casi no nos da tiempo a describir las jugadas, o sea, y, cuando tiene contraataques Noruega, si tiene contraataque del contraataque los, los colombianos, pero bueno, vamos a intentar. So from where are you watching? Uh, uh, come on, guys from Norway. I'm sure you're watching, and uh, people uh, from Colombia, please tell us where you are and what you do right now. If you're watching the games alone or with uh, other people, we we're curious about it. We have 330 people. Nice, very good. Let's see. Well, the second half should start any moment now. Let's see. Yeah, 10 minutes uh, in the second half and uh, the Orcas are leading. Uh <coughs> Guys, uh, do you have control? Is the game already started? Can you please uh, check for us if we're in the water? Eh, Estefanía, no sé, creo, me, ¿me escuchan todos? Yo creo que sí que me escuchan, puede ser que... Fíjate, ¿sabes que ah, eh, Estefanía, eh, a veces puede ser que... Creo que tenés a Wolf de un oído y a mí del otro. Entonces, si estás usando Holding por un solo parlante, puede ser que escuches solo a Wolf. Sorry. Holding without ball, free throw against the current. Uh, the Colombian player was complaining and so was the uh, a current player. So the Orcac player was complaining. Who? How do you know? Uh, was holding without ball and... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. All right, so here we have second half of this game. Colombia is on a current half and a current is uh, in position and trying to recover the ball in the corner, but Colombia is coming up always. And we know this Colombian game, we have seen also from the juniors in Overhausen a lot. They move a little bit, like in a half a circle, and then they pass the ball as well, and then they... Wow, another game. From Samuel. Above, uh, into the... The, 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 knack, the neck yeah. of the player and pull it up. Acaban de hacer un golazo, Samuel. Se empezaron a mover el balón de nuevo, como lo hacen ustedes siempre. Y vi como Samuel se pudo meter, agarrarle el cuello y meter el balón al, al correrlo un poco. Así que es increíble, o sea... 3 a 0 y yo no veo que a Karen se puede recuperar muy pronto. It looked like uh, he punched the ball through the goalkeeper. And here is a Karen uh, trying to attack, uh, trying to break um, into the the defense of uh, Colombia. Colombia was in ball possession, holding without ball, free throw against Colombia. All right. Okay, this is the second game of, no, the third. Orcas had uh, against Zurich at 9 o'clock this morning. Then later, like around 2.30 against Australia. Won both, and now uh, Akaren. Let's see, they're trying to get free. Wow, they have the Akaren player and intercepting, but the Colombian guys are in a counter-attack. And they're coming over the close side, they're on the goal, it's so much bubble, so much energy and so much strength on that, uh, so much movement and speed. It's just the, the switch from, uh, from one situation into the other is so fast and uh, total compliments to Akar and uh, they, they do an amazing job uh, to defend against this this high-speed rugby of oh, the Colombians. Apparently, they um, they uh, uh, um, cancelled the goal because it was pushing without the ball. Yeah, it's a pity. We need to see if we can g get a connection with the referees because here we are uh, blind, actually. 
Anyway, two zero, still an amazing um, a score. And there was another I mean one. I believe the players from McCarran do not know how to reverse the situation. They are doing everything they can, but they're pretty much reacting to the game of Colombia. I think this uh, are the uh, current players, and uh, right in front of us is uh, uh, Amanda Barsten. So here comes uh, Akaren trying to punch into the defense of Colombia now going in with a lot of force and Colombia breaks free and the very fast playing from one station to the other the the switch from defense into offense is is really instantly wow. the second wave comes in with so much speed it's and wow that's another goal score. holy it moly like Calanoli. 4 or 5 de los jugadores vinieron uno detrás de otro y uh, simplemente pasaron el balón y el, el, la defensa y el, y el, el, ¿cómo se llama? el portero no lo pudieron ni ver ni sentir o sea, increíble o sea, vienen atacando como en cadena viene el primero, si no puede, deja caer el balón y que está atrás, ya lo viene, lo agarra y intenta de nuevo, entonces no le dan respiro ni al defensor ni, ni al, ni al uh, portero y va ahora 4-0, como que si no era 3-0, que no lo contaron antes y ahora va 4 no sé mm, yo no me enteré si le habían cancelado el gol Bueno, 3-0 o 4-0, una de las dos cosas. Amazing game from both teams uh, with uh, Colombia in the upper hand and uh, in control of the game. But uh, Karen, nevertheless, this against any other team with this speed, this would be 10-0 uh, already. But, but uh, Karen does an uh, incredible job here. Tiempo libre para... Eh, tiempo fuera, perdón. Para Karen. They've been time out for a Karen. They're trying to understand what's going on. Es como un bad nightmare, es como una pesadilla los colombianos. Creo que los noruegos pensaron que se podían recuperar y poder empezar a actuar, pero no, no, no tienen manera, no tienen manera. O sea, vienen reaccionando y los colombianos les están dando un baile, les están enseñando a bailar salsa a los sacaren. Well, I guess uh, they they thought it will be difficult, but to be overrun by the Colombians is a uh, is a uh, quite an experience for an for an experienced team like Akaren. What are the people saying in the live stream? Uh, uh, only Colombians there. No hey, no, no way. Are you sleeping? No, no, no. Marius is a I mean, it's a beautiful goal. Sorry. Uh, it's a pity that the Karen can't manage the speed. Uh, <laughs> uh, free throw against Colombia. Probably holding without ball. Hi, Levent. How are you doing? Uh, watching this uh, incredible game hey, here? Hey, Levent. Hello. I'm not sure if they anu anulate the, the goal against Amuel. No estoy segura si anularon el gol, eh, porque para ser sincera, el, el número de los goles, eso los, lo, lo tienen los referees. Es el, los referees tienen el poder de poner los goles que están ahí, no la gente del equipo técnico. Entonces, si está en cuatro, es porque el referee ha puesto cuatro. What I'm saying is, the goals yeah, yeah, can be it. put just by the referees, not by the yeah. technical staff. So if it's four, it's because the referees uh, have accept uh, the goal. I don't know. Um, maybe we can clarify that later. So here, Akaren tries to to stay at least a little bit longer in the defensive uh, perimeter around uh, the Colombian goal, but the Colombians are incredible in the forechecking, stripping the ball away from the uh, from the Norwegians, and our picture is frozen. Please uh, switch back. I have the feeling that the Colombian gave him fruit since last year, even. I have the feeling it's even faster. Uh, we have one frozen camera here. We cannot see uh, oh. the right camera. Oh, it looks like a terror movie. Chicos, se acaba de congelar la la cámara de la derecha y bueno, no sé. Ahora Wolf va a avisar. Beckard, I'm not. I mean. Why, while we are waiting for the camera to unfreeze, uh, uh, Baker, I'm not sure if they cancel it because I was explaining it just before that the referees uh, are the ones that, ha that have the control of the goals in the software that we are watching. It's not the technical uh, team. So actually, um, if we have 4-0, it's because the referees at that table mark four goals. So probably, I'm, I'm trying to go and find out uh, one person and send them just to double check, but I'm pretty much sure that it's 4-0. Uh, 
Thorsten. Okay, so Thorsten is going to go and check, but I almost would really dare to say that the 4 0 is the right. And they're are working the on the camera. No, we're not on the break, but the camera apparently is not, you know, it's three minutes. Can we see the, the other pictures? Um, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> still frozen. Ah, frozen still not working. Well, anyway. ah, here we are on the Colombian basket. Can we have the cam camera? Ouch. So we only have the. Now we have the left camera. Well, we have a current in attack, and the orca is getting stressed. And one of the team play. I mean, I think this is Manuel Celis just got the the ball. Sí, el número siete. A ver, Manuel acaba de recuperar el balón y están haciendo un contraataque. Cámbienme la cámara, chicos. Y bueno, se. Sí, guys, uh, we just confirm it is four zero for orcas. The goal from Samuel did count. It was just a mistake that it took longer to put it. So quería confirmarles, chicos, que el gol de Samuel sí que contó. Entonces es 4 a 0 para Colombia. Y estamos tratando de eh, reparar la cámara de la derecha que no está funcionando. They scored five times? Really? It was that fast? I didn't get it. Uh, so Vegar yeah. Vega said that, they, that the Orcas scored five times. Akaren okay. is not well, taking. This was a, a, now they're pushing really hard into the defense and are tackled to the surface by the Colombian players. This is tough playing. Ah, Manuela, gracias. Okay, no sé por qué no lo vi entonces. Bueno, nada. Well, it must be stressful largo. for it's the it's referees too. <laughs> Free throw against the current. <laughs> All right. And I Colombia guess. is in attack mode. Wow, this wow. Those, the Great. movements are so fast. Look, against four of the Akare, now there are three of them, three of our cast. One on the back waiting for the ball probably to go back to him to continue with the attack. It almost looks like, like uh, the Colombians are showing off now just to show uh, how fast they can play. Their movements and their turnarounds is, is uh, Look incredible. Look the, the amount of, of, of bubbles. It's because they're kicking. I mean, it's, they have too much. They have to kick so fast with so much uh, strength in order to get the speed to cope. Free throw against uh, Colombia. Akaren is already in position. They try to adapt to the fast play of the Colombians, and so far they do quite a good job. But when the Colombians switch from uh, defense into attack, it's it's this instantaneous and it's it's uh, incredible, incredible to watch. We saw this in Oberhausen at the U21, but this is uh, another notch more compared to what we saw from the youth teams. Okay, it's the last five seconds, 4-0 for Orcas, I don't think... Someone can tell me, I thought the Camilo was a goalkeeper, why is he playing defense? Did they, they change the position? Okay, 4-0 for Orcas, amazing game, it was, uh, if it feel like they were playing like the Flash. Well, yes, <laughs> it, it was the fastest game I've Dios seen so far. Uh, do you remember the Reina? There was it was still uh, one of the highlights of a game I saw. We I think two or three years ago it was Bamberg against uh, Colombia against the Orcas. Do you remember? Yep, I remember. That was the fastest game I've seen so far. But uh, what I see from the Orcas in this game looked even faster than it what we've seen. It looks faster. I mean, para mí, chicos, es como que, que que pusieron el turbo y eso que ustedes siempre han sido muy rápido. Pero me parece que tienen, están siendo más rápidos que incluso que el año pasado. O sea, es increíble la velocidad. Increíble. O sea, los chicos de acá todavía no saben. Les pasó un tren por arriba. O sea, no entienden qué pasó. Increíble. Felicitaciones para Colombia. Great game for acá en too because yes. I was really, I didn't want to be in the water playing no. against Orca. I wanted to play with them. This, uh, <laughs> this was really an uh, amazing um, Amazing uh, game by Akaren to withstand this uh, super fast heavy attacks for such a long time. Uh, incredible game, and I think Akaren will go out of the water and uh, be, well, not satisfied, but uh, they can be quite uh, 
okay, can be quite okay with uh, what they did there. I don't think they're happy. No, not happy, <laughs> but you know, it's, it's yeah, the no. feeling I know, um, no. they were not destroyed. Uh -uh. Yeah, no, 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 no. <coughs> they, they are really... Uh, hey, Thorsten, come, come and you can um, do uh, Vienna, Vienna and Bamberg. I'm going to pass this to Tro Pero Avi. <coughs> Hello? Oh yeah, sorry, you were right. I'm going to pass uh, to Thorsten, so he is going to comment on Vienna and uh, Bamberg. So I say goodbye to you guys for today. This is the last two games have been fun. Thank you for listening. Gracias, Colombia, por estar ahí, por los comentarios. Me hacen reír. Please Dan don't energía. go, please don't go. Me voy, Make los dejo a estos dos. Tonight. Y bueno, nos vemos mañana porque ahora vienen dos partidos y los van a estar comentando los chicos. Un beso enorme, 340. Peso US enorme. Cap. I never do get a peso enorme. Wow. Well. All right. <laughs> Tosna, are you are you with me? Ready? Ready to go, ready to run. We're going to see the last two matches of the day, starting with Vienna against Firenze and followed by Bamberg against the Turkish team. Well, uh, Vienna against Firenze will be interesting. Uh, what's your uh, estimation for this upcoming game, uh, Torsten? I'm, uh, I'm thinking it will be dominated by Vienna, but it will be close. So it will be one of the close yeah. matches. Yeah. But I think Vienna is going to win. And uh, uh, I was quite, um, I saw a good game from Italy in the, whom did they play? Bamberg at the beginning. For example, let's start it, just giving some names here. It's number two, Gabriel Gianni. I think Italy is playing in white. Number three, uh, Dario Baldi. Number five, Francesco Craba. Number nine, Michelangelo Bruni. Number 12, Umberto Vacelleri. Number 13, Carlo Cavalieri. Number 17, Giulio Giacci. 23, Samuel Moschi. 25, Andrea Menegin. 32, Ludovici Bacelli. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> 33, Fabio Neri. 41, uh, Antonio Lobairo. 39, Andrea Pagni. And 88, Alessandro Ruocco. This were the Italians came from yep. the team from Firenze. In white. And uh, Vienna. Yeah, we can start uh, continue with Vienna too. What is uh, number 15? Uh, Schneidenbauer Andreas. Number three, Tanzmann Andreas. 11 is 9, Teufel Matthias. Number five, Wurm Matthias. 18,